Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be drawing Billy Eilish. So I've separated the photo into two parts. The one that has light areas and the other one that has shadow areas. This photo is quite complicated, um, but I have broken down the photo so it could be much more easier. And I've also broken down the highlights and the shadows. So without further ado, let's go. So using only a few brushes, like four or five brushes, and of course everything is a link in the description, I used the sketch brush to outline like a few elements to guide me on my way when I'm sketching and name the layer um, dra uh, draft sketch. Basically when you're sketching you want to add a little bit of detail so it's like easier like later when you outline it you don't have to do so much work because you, you're just gonna outline what you're uh, like what you've already done. Now make a new layer and rename it to final sketch and start outlining um, your sketch and like this really um dark brown color don't make it black because it's gonna like pop out so much and we don't want that on i created two separate layers one for the highlights and one for the um shadows i outlined um the stuff that i'm supposed to highlight in blue and the stuff that are supposed to be the shading or shadows um in pink just to guide me on the way while i'm coloring and this made the process way more simpler now we're going to use the painting brush for coloring in the portrait and just a disclaimer basically all of the colors i used from the reference photo i just like dragged and dropped them in like what i think i see in the photo i just recreated that moving forward i created a clipping mask layer for the shading using the airbrush tool and what you want to do here is literally drag and drop every single color later on you're going to smudge everything together Likewise, create a new layer for the highlights. What you want to do is keep on 
um, pressing on the sketching layer, hide it and unhide it, um, just to create a difference and um, understand what you have to do to make it look realistic without the sketch. Now using the smooth lashes brush, adding in and rolling the lashes. Now I created a new layer and went for this gray shade just to um indicate every, like where the hair is and then i used that as a guide to draw in the hair with a hair brush moving on using the short hair brush um to color in the hair like to give the hair more texture and make it come to life the hair is quite um, complicated and it was really hard um, to draw or create because it's like all over the place and the colors are just here and there so I tried my best and I didn't go much in detail I just did what I like I just tried to make it more simple in a way and just dragged and dropped every single color I could see and just smudged everything in using the short hair brush Then I decided to take a break from the hair because honestly I I was tired and then I decided to color in the jacket. And of course adding in the details and the shading. Again, um, I went back to the hair and we're doing the same process here. onto the lips i used the, um, the painting brush to color in the lips and the airbrush tool of course to uh, do the shading and smudged everything in here we are 
my back had it again with the hair i just tried to take like a few breaks like here and there just to you know change things up a bit And now I'm adding the shading on the lips using the airbrush tool and for the highlights I used the short hairbrush and um, like smudged like everything and just to create that effect to make it look realistic enough and adding some few details to the jacket. Adding the eyebrows. Last but not least, I merged every layer together. And that is finally the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to watch my